Hey you guys, this is Rick Samante and I'm back again for another episode of KF Insider. Let me also take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who has been supporting us all the way. Please continue to show your support so we can maximize this platform and feature more K Familia Queens in the future. If you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell para like updated every time we upload a new video. For today's episode, I'll be joined by some of the candidates of Binibining Pilipinas 2022. And if you want to see what's going to happen next, just keep on watching. Hey guys, right now I am with Binibini 25, Ana Valencia Bataan, Binibini 18, Maria Isabella David, Mexico Pampanga, and of course Binibini 31, Iliana Aduana, province of Laguna. Hi Queens, thank you so much for accepting the invite for today's episode of KF Insider. Of course, how are you ladies? Well, of course, I'm excited but also nervous because this is my first time to answer some of my some of the personal things about me. So, I just want to thank also Kaganda and Flores for having us three and also Tito Rogel for also picking me and uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm blessed to be here with Kaganda and Flores. Um, thank you, Tito Rogel. And also, I can't wait to let you guys know more about us. So stay tuned. It's an honor to be here, actually, since very excited din ako because we've been planning it for how many days, how many months already. But now we're here together with my other Bini Bini and KF sisters. So we're just so excited to, you know, for you to get to know us on a very personal level. So stay tuned and watch us now. <laughs> All right, so these questions that I'll, I'm about to ask you may or may not be applicable for you. But of course, I've also prepared um, personal questions for each of you. Are you guys ready to answer them? Uh, I hope. <laughs> I'm sure very much. Kayang kaya niyo tong um, sagutin. You can do this. How was your press presentation? Do you think you did good? Are you contented with your performance? Definitely. I was very happy with my performance last press presentation. Everything that I showed on stage was exactly everything that I wanted to show also since I've been really practicing and really working hard for that. And I'm just so happy I was able to execute it the way I wanted it to be. Yes, and that's the confidence. No, I, I really like your answer. I mean, how she answers. Her delivery is really on point. I'm also happy because all of us represented ourselves very well. But also the competition is really getting harder every day. So we have to really focus. But our KF family never uh, took an advantage of the time. That's why I'm happy with my performance. But at the same time, I want to improve more. And uh, I want to give more of myself in this competition. So yeah, confidence and also I, I want to improve more. Even with your press presentation, it was really I parang akala mo it's already a pre preliminary swim set competition. You've really outdone yourselves, and of course, Anna, how were you happy with your performance? I'm really happy with my performance because sometimes I still can't realize that I'm in Bini Bini Filipinas and I'm in the Philippines, achieving my goals every day, and I'm like learning every day. And when I was backstage, I was like thinking. Oh, oh my God, this is so overwhelming. But then I kept saying to myself, like, Anna, you're there, you're in the Philippines, you're, you're really at Bini Bini Filipinas. So whatever happens, just enjoy that moment. And I'm really happy that I applied everything that I learned here at Kagandang Flores because I really am Masipak. And that's what, what, what also showed. <laughs> With that being said, what is there to expect from Anna Valencia, from Lala, from Yana? What's there to expect? I'm just so ready to show more of them the Makiling Walk because my walk is actually called the Makiling Walk. It's inspired by Mariana Makiling of Los Banos. Los Banos is the place where, uh, you know, it's part of Laguna to which I am representing. So I'm definitely gonna, you know, version 2.0 of Makiling Walk. Well, for me, I've been training a lot in Q&A and also whenever I have time, I also go here in Gagandang Flores to train my walk. 
And uh, there's a lot of things that I want to improve in myself, but at the same time, I'm just having fun in the competition. I, I just savor every moment with the Beanie Beanies. And also for my national costume, I'll be representing Mexico Pampanga. So there's a lot of culture and tradition that we put into the design of Kapampangan. It's a, she's a warrior princess. So I'm going to be representing a, a very strong queen. So I'm really excited for that. So I really hope a lot of our Bini Bini Filipinas fans will look forward to it. I'm just so excited to showcase more of myself to the people. And um, I want to be a voice for the people. And I just feel like if people really get to know me and know the real me and see more of myself, which I am also showcasing with my Nat cause, of course, with my walk and with my Q&A, I believe that this is really what I want to show those people and I want to be just who I am. Like, I am so grateful to be in the Philippines and I just want to show that I'm Filipina by heart. This joining the Bidding Bidding Filipinas gives you worry of not winning a crown? I'm not worried at all because I believe that I achieved so much and it has always been my dream to live in the Philippines and I just graduated in February and flew like two weeks after to the Philippines because I was always talking about yeah I'm gonna move to the Philippines to be closer to my family and to connect to my Filipino heritage. I'm in the best hand with my handler Oli Sara and with my makeup team and also with KF so I'm not worried at all. <laughs> That's the spirit, girl. So with you, Lala, do you believe that being a celebrity has a big factor of winning a crown? Why or why not? So I, I wouldn't say that being a celebrity or being a public figure will help you win a crown. It's all about yourself. It's all about representing your real self and as a queen. So you just really have to dig deep and um, be smart in all your actions. So joining Bini Bini Filipinas is much, is so different from the showbiz industry. So I have to really transform myself so much and uh but in a in a good way so yes i know um being a musician or a singer or a celebrity or a public figure is very much different when it comes to being a bini bini do you want to be known more as a musician slash singer or a bini bini i want to be known as both because uh, I started in the industry as a musician, in the voice team, since I w I've been doing that job since I was 15. So, um, I already know it as an artist. So, and now as a Bini Bini, it opened doors for new opportunities, new beginnings. So, I want to separate myself into different platforms, but at the same time, meet sa, uh, sa gitna na, na pa, to be to become a better and aware person in the future. So, yeah. I agree. I was really hoping at the back of my mind that you would say both. And of course, you will. Yana, hindi ka makakatakas. <laughs> Some of the pageant fans um, see you as a silent killer. These are videos rolling around on TikTok. So they see you as a silent killer. Uh, what can you say about it? I'm actually really happy because as you all know, I'm also a pageant newbie. I just started joining pageantry last year, 2021. It was really a huge step for me. It was um, 2021 when I joined Miss Philippines Earth. That was my first ever pageant. And now a lot of pageant media friends and, you know, pageant fans are really seeing through me. And not just only with my, you know, with the way I present myself physically, but with my intentions, my commitment, you know, my passion and my purpose. Like holistically, they are already seeing through me. So to be considered as a silent killer, that motivates me also to become now a front runner, hopefully in the next following days. So th definitely I want to, you know, I want that silent killer to progress into something better in the future. So it's just so ironic that these girl, this girl, Girl is super charming whenever he she speaks. Pero the the description of her is silent killer, right? Anna, um, we all know that you're still in progress or in the process of learning our culture or heritage um, that includes our language and or dialect. Do you believe not being able to fully understand Tagalog affects your performance and support that you may receive from the fans? Being Filipino is not all about the language because being Filipino is so much more. It's about being resilient, it's about being open-minded and 
It's about being strong and I just love Filipinos and how they embrace our culture and it's just it doesn't matter what you look like and what you can speak because it's just like what I told with Heatbone because it's it's all about the heart and no matter like she can't speak Tagalog and if she can't speak Tagalog I can't Kontilan <laughs> and she's like trying to speak English I'm trying to speak Tagalog but in the end all that matters is really from the heart that's actually true because even us born and raised here in the Philippines we struggle to speak fluent Tagalog you know why because we have been colonized for of different cultures or different nationalities for years and years and years even us struggle with both I mean with our own or native language so that's totally fine and I like that you're 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 always using your heart to connect to people despite with the language barrier Lala I'm gonna show you a photo here which of course you, you also posted this on your Instagram and if there's anything you would like to say to this young girl in this photo um this girl right now is She's happy. She's trying her best to be happy. She's trying her best to show up in every occasion um, with a smile on her face. And I want her to know that no matter how big your problems are, it might be big as a ship, but her faith is wide as the ocean. So I want her to know that she doesn't need society to define who she is. Now joining a beauty contest, which is showcasing your beauty, your intelligence. I want her to be herself and I want her to bring her true self on stage and just shine within. So I want her to accomplish life, accomplish everything with a smile on her face because that's the hardest thing a person can ever do right now. I don't need to explain further about what she said. I'm sure you guys watching in the screen, you felt that. Can you take us back that time where you were battling an eating disorder? And how are you coping with it? For those of you who do not know, I used to suffer from an eating disorder. It's called bulimia nervosa. It is consistently known also as a mental disorder because it really affects the, you know, the mental health of the person. So I was 14 at that time while I was struggling because, you know, when I was 14, there was a peak of the, you know, the rise of the fashion shows. People on social media are really idolizing um, girls who are very skinny. That was the term that back then. Skinny, yeah. So I was really trying so hard to fit into the stereotypical standards of the society. So I was really battling with that. Bulimia nervosa is an eating disorder which forces you to eat everything that you want at the moment. But right after that, it tells your mind, you know, it conditions your mind that it is a bad thing for you to eat everything. So the tendency is that you will vomit everything out. So what happens is like it's a vicious cycle of eating and then vomiting everything out after and then eating again just because you got hungry. So it's really a vicious cycle. I was able to survive that kind of adversity by um, reaching out to a lot of friends, to a lot of medical professionals, um, you know, my psychologist friends, they were able to help me with that. And I did a digital detox for how many months so that I can remember my core values too and, you know, myself, remember who I am as a person. And I think that is really the greatest thing anyone can do if they, you know, if they get swayed away, uh, swayed upon, you know, the society standards and all that because we all know that we all know how hard society is right now but just as long as you know who you are as a person and you know your strengths i know that you can survive any adversity there is and you can really thrive with a story wow just really wow i mean um having that at a very young age you're really brave to be able to seek help and that's very much important very important because that's that's really the problem eh, with a lot of people battling specific um, problem is that they own it up and not be able to share it to people. So with you at a very young age, seeking help and conquering it and being able to tell this story very chill lang, na parang wala lang, right? You also posted this on your Instagram page. Um, if you have any message to this young girl right here. I was maybe seven years old that time with a bob gun. <laughs> so my message to that little girl is to just keep doing what you're doing and just know that in the sooner time, 
you're gonna achieve what you want in life. You just have to really work hard. Just stay true to your core values. Never get swayed by the society standards. You have to build your own standards so that you can really achieve anything in life. You'll achieve success and greatness. Yes! Anna? She was saying that I don't have a childhood photo of her. I did try to check. I wasn't able to find one, so... Facebook, so it's really hard. She kept it really private. So since I wasn't able to find a young photo version of you, I've heard that one of your closest Bini Bini would be Nicole. Your friendship started from Hey Girl. Can you tell us more about that? I just saw her at the training and we just bonded. I, was, I wasn't even knowing who she was. I didn't know she was famous. I was like, just... Oh my god, hi girl! And she was like, hi girl! And I'm like, I don't know, we just bonded and it's like, we try to communicate and it's like really, really hard. But um, I think she said in her last video also that we're not really compatible and I'm like, why are we not compatible? And she's like, because you're, you're speaking English and I'm speaking Tagalog. But the main thing that really connects us is really the heart. And which is like, it means so much to me because I feel like so at home with her like i know her for so many years even though we don't really speak a lot but it's just the common sense that we have which i really love and she's really true and so grounded which i is also how i am and that's what i love girl <laughs> i love you and you know i love heat <laughs> and you know we understand each other from the heart and you know who the real ones are. And of course, don't forget to follow Kagadang Flores on all of our social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel that's kfcrown.glory.legacy and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Sound off in the comments below and also share it to all of your friends across all social media platforms. Please continue to show your support so that we can maximize this platform to, for us to be able to feature more K Familia queens in the future. And this has been your KF Insider, Rick Somonte. And this is your Bini Bini 31, Eliana Marie Aduana from Province of Laguna. Maria Isabella David, Binibini 18, Mexico, Pampanga. And Ana Valencia Lacrini, Binibini 25, Pataan. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on our next episode. Bye! Bye.